Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Outcomes Rocket. I'm so excited that you're joining us again today. Today, I have the privilege of hosting Ajay Shah on the podcast. He is the CEO and co-founder of Cytovale. He, he's an expert in cell-based diagnostic technologies, as well as a serial entrepreneur leading his third company. After co-founding two life sciences company, one of them which was acquired in 2012, he co-founded and, and serves this company, Cytovale. And I'm excited to help unpack the work that they're doing around early detection tests for sepsis. So really excited to have you here on the podcast, Ajay. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's, it's a pleasure. Diagnostics, it's a tough business. And, uh, and, and technologies really need to be differentiated and add value. So I'm excited to, to really give you the stage today, Ajay, to, to share the value you guys are creating with your device and, and, and the assays and things that you do. Um, before we do, though, I'd love for our, our listeners and viewers to get to know you a little bit better. So talk to us about you and, and what inspired your work in healthcare. Sure. Born and raised in Southern California, I, I grew up as the son of a critical care physician and I've spent my life you know, immersed kind of in and around the world of medicine. Uh, you know, my wife's an anesthesiologist at UCSF and kind of through those experiences, always had a curiosity about how technology can be used to improve care delivery and, and really help you know, patients as well as physicians get to better outcomes. Um, and so that's that's been an inspiration and a thread all throughout my career. I love it. Yeah, it's a lifelong thing for you. And and you decided to take the technology uh, side of it. So uh, definitely a, a, a still a very impactful uh, and oftentimes very scalable uh, ro ro road to take. Um, talk to us about the company, uh, Cytovale. What are you guys doing? Why is it different? And uh, how are you adding value? For sure. Uh, so what I'm really most excited about Cytovale is the impact that this company, I believe, can have. Right? We've taken on uh, a huge challenge in early sepsis detection in the emergency department. Uh, sepsis is the leading cause of, of death in U.S. hospitals and the most costly condition in U.S. hospitals. Today, you know, as patients walk through the front door of emergency departments, uh, the key question is, are they experiencing a medical emergency? And clinicians and providers have objective tools to diagnose, you know, the other major emergent conditions such as STEMI and stroke. But even though there's twice as many cases of sepsis as STEMI and stroke combined, today, until IntelliCEP, you know, Cytovale's flagship diagnostic, clinicians have lacked a clear objective tool to identify and help risk stratify which patients really are at risk of sepsis and need aggressive care. The symptoms behind sepsis often mimic other conditions. And there's symptoms like, you know, they're vague, undifferentiated symptoms like elevated heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature. These are patients who walk in and say, this is the worst flu of my life. You know, my loved one urged me to come in. Don't feel well today. But sadly, these are often the patients who could be left sitting in the corner of the waiting room because they're not coming in uh, with those obvious signs of a heart attack or, or a knife wound or the like, yet they're experiencing a similar medical emergency that needs aggressive care. And so today, triage nurses, um, you know, providers, and, and the entire healthcare ecosystem is forced to try and tease out what's behind this constellation of often vague signs and symptoms. And uh, unfortunately, that leads to both meaningful undertreatment and delays in the aggressively needed treatment and poor outcomes for these patients, or through their best intent, meaningful overtreatment, you know, unnecessary um, CT scans, unnecessary costs, um, and sometimes harmful treatment to patients who aren't going to benefit. And so ultimately, what Cytovel brings to the table with IntelliCEP is a objective patient-specific diagnostic tool that in eight minutes identifies which patient sitting in that emergency department waiting room can benefit from aggressive sepsis-focused care. Um, and that's key because in sepsis, the real challenge is early identification. There's up to an 8% increase in mortality per hour of delayed diagnosis for patients experiencing septic shock. And we're here to, we're here to help impact that. 
Yeah, no, that's a, that's a big problem, Jay. And uh, like you said, most people are, I mean, uh, let's just face it, most are flying in the dark uh, on this elevated respirate, elevated temp is is an indicator, but not necessarily uh, like a true, yes, you have it. So talk to us about the 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 product and and how exactly it works. No, I mean, that's absolutely right. You know, I think one in every five patients who walks through the door of a U.S. emergency department has those signs and symptoms. Yet only a f- small fraction of those actually have sepsis. And so what's behind IntelliCEP is the ability to directly see the innate immune system, right? Sepsis is not an infection. Sepsis is your body's dysregulated response to that infection. It's when, instead of targeting the pathogen and specifically attacking it, the body instead has an overwhelming uh, kind of carpet bombing type response, if you will, and it and attacks everything in sight. And so what our uh, novel diagnostic IntelliCEP does is actually looks at those white blood cells and looks in just a few seconds, assesses over 50,000 individual white blood cells, physically squeezes them and asks the question, is this particular cell highly activated? And by taking ultra high speed video data from those 50,000 cells and applying a layer of computer vision to it, uh, within just eight minutes from whole blood, provides back a result to the provider of, is this patient, you know, a low risk patient, uh, a band two patient or high risk band three patient, uh, which shares the patient's risk of having or developing sepsis within the next three days. That's, uh, that's impactful. And, and Ajay, I'm not as familiar about the, the workflow in the ER, but how often are blood draws done? Is it a, is it a common thing? Yeah. So, you know, the patients that uh, we're focused on helping are those who are presenting with signs and symptoms of infection, that kind of one in every five patients who I mentioned earlier, about 30 million Americans a year. For those patients who are coming in with those complaints, a standard blood draw you know, that's used for, for tests like a CBC um, is quite common. And in fact, our test runs off of just a, a tenth of a cc from that same sample that's used for that stat CBC. No, that's really great to know, right? I mean, oftentimes it's fitting into a workflow. Uh, and then the second thing is reimbursement, right? So, so uh, that's, the other, that's the other factor. Um, and so as, as, as something like this, it, does, it, does it layer into a, a CPT code or anything like that that people could, uh, uh, providers could, could leverage for additional billing? Yeah, so uh, happy to share that we uh, Cytobel just received uh, for IntelliCEP, um, you know, our own CPT code, and so certainly headed down that oh, journey. Congratulations, that's a big Thanks. move. Yeah, you know what's really important here is the economic benefit to the overall hospital. Um, hospitals lose over nine hundred dollars per sepsis patient, and this is a very costly condition for the institution. And so, helping them identify which are the patients who are sitting in that waiting room who need the aggressive care so that they deliver the right care to those patients and yet can use their broader resources more efficiently and effectively um, is really at the heart of the economic story here. Totally. Yeah, for sure. Both sides matter and uh, appreciate you, you, you commenting on, on, on that. It's, it's, that's the big picture, uh, no, no doubt. So when I guess you, you've shared with us, right, the what what happens today is inefficient. Anything else you'd like to add around what's different or better than the techno- than than what's out there today? I think the key, uh, Saul, is in that you know really fast turnaround time, right? So our test is you know as I said earlier, eight minutes from blood to answer. What that means from a workflow perspective is that as the test is drawn right alongside that very first set of labs the patients get, the result comes back before the provider has been forced to make decisions about what pathway this patient goes to. And so that kind of likelihood of having sepsis uh, result is in their hands to help inform their very first actions and decision-making, right? Because for the patient who doesn't have sepsis, who really just needs some rest and, and kind of old-fashioned chicken soup, um, that gets them out of the emergency department faster, which is what the patient wants. 
right? And for the patient who really needs that admission and aggressive care, it also gets them upstairs faster. And maybe to tie back to the economic story, you know, happy to share that our launch customer, Our Lady of the Lake, which is, you know, large medical center in, um, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, um, just, just published some data actually sharing that, you know, they've seen savings of over $1,400 per patient tested. And so we'll, this, you know, we really believe this technology has the ability to improve both patient outcomes as well as hospital outcomes. Well, no, I think that's uh, really impactful. And and just to kind of get a get a capture of a level three trauma center somewhere, like how many of these would they need to for it to make make sense in the in the workflow for them? So what we've heard from you know, some of the early customer conversations we've had is that the right way to use this technology really is in a protocolized driven environment, right? You know, such okay. that the triage nurse is able to identify, hey, these are the patients who present with some potential signs and symptoms of infection and identify those about 15 to 20 percent of the emergency department visits, you know, who meet those criteria, get that rapid testing done to then inform the physician's next decision. Um, and so it's, it's, you know, pretty meaningful, you know, for a busy emergency department that sees 50,000 plus patients a year, that's about 10,000 tests a year. Yeah, that's significant. Um, and, and could one machine do it or do they need a couple? How does that work? Yeah. So, you know, we've seen hospitals really view this as a critical lab test, kind of akin to that troponin, right? Or that stat CT scan, for example, for the, for the stroke patient. Um, and so we're, we're setting up our, our early customers with two systems to make sure that they're up a hundred percent of the time, you know, even yeah. as we're doing a maintenance visit or the like, they're always able, you know, night or day, rain or shine to be able to get a result back to their patients. Um, and that's more than sufficient given how fast the test is. Love it. Well, Hey, uh, folks, you're, you're listening into this and you're thinking, wow, this is an issue for us, or we've seen it. And even things that we have loaded in Epic or Cerner uh, aren't really giving us the early warnings that we need. Um, it's it's technologies like these, the 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 one that Ed, uh, Ajay is telling us about, uh, Intellicep that can help bridge that gap. And uh, very exciting to to hear that this is FDA approved and available. If you had to uh, sort of um, and point to the thing that makes you so fast, like eight, eight minutes, you know, what's that technology that you're most proud of that you want to share with us? I appreciate you asking that. You know, I think what's really cool about this technology, unlike, for example, some of the, the algorithms you, you referred to a moment ago, is that we're directly looking at the actual bad actors that drive sepsis, right? We actually physically look at those individual white blood cells from an individual patient. And so rather than trying to put together a bunch of disparate data points or taking a number of different vital signs and other lagging indicators and trying to build a picture of what's happening, we're actually just directly looking and saying, hey, is this cell activated in this patient? And so we're able to, through that direct technology approach, assess the unique patient biology and the unique patient kind of cellular pathophysiology to then guide patient level result. That's fantastic. No, I appreciate you highlighting that. Ajay, it's always great to know how these things work and, uh, and the opportunity is big because uh, with a lot of these algorithms, it's garbage in, garbage out. And that's why so many of them get missed. So really, really appreciate you highlighting that. Um, look, I, uh, thank you so much for visiting with us today and highlighting these, these things that, that are making a big difference with, uh, with your company. For anybody listening, uh, what call to action would you leave with them? And where can they reach out to you or your team to learn more? Yeah, you know, I think the call to action would be the next time you walk through your emergency department or talk to one of your ED providers, ask them, hey, if you could look out across all the beds in your ED and all the patients sitting in the waiting room and just identify right away who are the ones who are at high risk, who need that aggressive care, right? You know, akin to the EKG. Um, or the or the CT scan, you know, for a STEMI or stroke. Intellicep is that tool. Uh, and we'd love to have the chance to have the conversation and share more with you. Amazing. I just had a thought, uh, Ajay. A lot of, we've been trained, right, here in this country to, to, to avoid the, the ED. 
And, and, and a lot of that traffic tends to go to uh, urgent care centers. What, what play is there uh, for this technology in an urgent care center? So the technology is currently FDA cleared for use in the emergency department specifically. Got it. You know, I think the opportunity here is for urgent carers who see patients who might have similar symptoms to be able to say, you should go to the ED and get checked out. And the hospital and the urgent care should have confidence that because of how quick the test is, that patient will, will be able to get in and out, uh, hopefully quickly. Love it. Yeah. Hey, look, love, love uh, the vision on the pipeline as well. Uh, but exciting that you guys are where you're at. So congratulations on, on all the excellent work. And listeners, uh, in the show notes, we'll leave ways to get in touch with the J and the team at Saddlevale uh, so that you too could take advantage of, of IntelliCept and learn more about it. So, uh, Jay, thank you so much for, for being with us today. This has been uh, very interesting. Awesome. Thanks for having me. 